put away the bats and break out the brooms. We have a series sweep to talk about in non-conference play for Auburn baseball. A lot of interesting highlights to talk about in this. We're going to give you the things that you need to know from Auburn baseball versus Lipscomb. War Eagle, and welcome back to the channel. I'm your host, Kyle, and as you're watching or listening today, be sure to drop a comment down below about this particular topic. It'll help enter you into our ongoing subscriber giveaway contest for a signed Auburn football prize package. Details are listed in the description link. And lastly, we do want to thank members of our booster club like David Wells, who help produce videos like this. Short, sweet, to the point, and Auburn baseball. That's the how and the who that we're covering in this video. Auburn baseball series with Lipscomb in Auburn, Alabama. How did they do? That is the big question. It was a three-game series with your Auburn Tigers sweeping the whole dang thing. For game one, they won by the score of 7-3. to three. In game two, 12-11. to 11. Game three, four to three. You can see there were some close ones there, especially in games two and three, bringing their overall record to nine, one, and one on the year. Now let's talk about each of these games a little bit more. Of course, game one to start off with, Trevor Bauman got his first start of the year and with a little help from the bullpen was able to secure a win, also helped by the batting from some veterans, which really took place and broke open in the fourth inning. Bryson Ware, Case and Howell's names you should be familiar with, helped secure the win for Auburn. Game two was a much different story with a lot of swings back and forth for both teams. Auburn took command very early in the second inning with a seven-run inning. Not to be outdone, though, Lipscomb came right back with two different innings, scoring three runs and six runs, pushing them at one point to having the lead. Auburn fought back on a Bryson Ware home run that tied the game, and ultimately, you know him, you love him, Ike Irish with the walk-off hit to win the game 12-11. And in Game 3, Lipscomb took a two-run lead, forcing Auburn into a comeback situation for the second game in a row, which they thankfully did behind a veteran familiar bat again, Bryson Ware, with a three-run blast in the eighth inning to give the Tigers the lead and eventually the sweep of the Lipscomb Bison. Now I want to talk about a few players of note from this particular weekend, and you know we're going to start with Bryson Ware. Three home runs, one in each of these games, and each one effectively did a different thing. The game three home run won the game pretty much. In game two, it tied the game up to set up the win. And in game one, he pretty much set Auburn up from the get-go with that home run to get the win eventually down the line. Huge weekend for him. Not to be outdone, though, Ike Irish with that walk-off hit in the game two situation he continues to dazzle a new name to talk about chris stanfield got the start for the first time in an auburn uniform out in left field and had a pretty solid weekend five for 12 and three rbis and flashed some speed as well and on the pitching side of things john armstrong continues to show that why he is one of the best relief pitchers auburn has coming in that game three to secure the win in three innings of work, only allowing one base runner for those innings. A few series notes, things to take away from this weekend. I think Lipscomb actually was a pretty good ball club. It'll be interesting to compare how they do with how Auburn does at the end of the year and see if we can glean anything from this early matchup series that they had in non-conference play. What we've also learned is Bryson Ware is a force to be reckoned with alongside Ike Irish, alongside Justin Kirby, and many others. The bats are really going to support Auburn's pitchers this year. And the takeaways from this weekend, this is the third series in a row where Auburn has taken the opening game, which shows obviously in a very young season that if Auburn takes the opening game, they have a very successful weekend. It obviously sets you up for success for the entire series. If they can continue that trend, they will have a very successful season overall. The other thing that it's shown is this is the third time already this season that Auburn has had a comeback win. The bats are flying right now. Let's hope they do all season while this pitching staff continues to find its footing and what its actual rotation is going to look like starting wise. So that is all the things that you need to know from this Lipscomb series. Would love to know your thoughts, anything I missed or anything else you want to expound upon down in the comments section below. Be sure to do that to be part of that subscriber giveaway. And hey, you need to be subscribed, so make sure you take care of that too. And always check the links out in the description for ways that you can help support us here at E2C Network, where we share the whole Auburn experience. War Eagle.